Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Quite exciting as this is the last video I'll be recording before we release our second Sudoku hunt. So um, most of it is going to be for Patreons. So do get subscribed if you haven't already and you're interested in tackling it. Um, I think we will put out the, the kind of introduction and the first puzzle to, to everybody, uh, just to encourage you. <laughs> but um, there will be a prize. So we're going to release it at three o'clock our time tomorrow, Saturday. That's, I guess, 4 p.m. Central European time and 10 a.m. New York time, I imagine. Um, and you can work out what the time is for you somewhere else in the world as you wish. Now, the prize will be, I think Simon's planning to design a a new bit of merchandise and the uh, person who wins will receive the first one of those, but it'll be fun anyway, prize or not. However long you take over the hunt, do give it a go. Um, work in teams, whatever, um, I think it'll be fun. So quite a good day to brush up on our classic Sudoku skills. We've had a lot of requests recently for a classic and <laughs> I thought I'd try this. Um, Although it's not a handcrafted puzzle and we get we get enough of those that we don't really encourage you to just send us puzzles you found difficult um, in apps especially as they can be computer generated and not necessarily all that instructive. But I'm going to give this one a go. We'll see how we get on. What I quite liked was uh, Lloyd Phillips' message to us. I found this expert Sudoku extremely difficult and I do 10 to 15 a day. Weird flex, but okay, as my daughter would say. Best time is said to be less than 12 and a half minutes. Now, I don't know what the app is. Who says the best time is less than 12 and a half minutes? You know, how impressive that would be. Um, for a classic Sudoku, I wouldn't normally take that long, however hard it is. But on the other hand, I would be prepared to bifurcate if I was getting stuck after five or six minutes. So I will try and not do that with you today. Let's have a look though. You can try the puzzle on the link below the video. Um, and let's get cracking. It's, uh, let's see where we've got, um, shoot. So six and six in the same set of three uh, boxes means that six must occupy one of those cells in that box, seven in that one. Three. Oh, these are all three cells. Ah, we get a two in the grid though from those twos. That means there's a five in one of these, five in one of those. Um, three, six, yeah, eight. Eight is restricted to those two, one to those two. Then looking at the acrosses, two up there, nothing else in the first three the top three boxes, seven, ah, oh, six, oh, six and three into row nine, column one and two. That's a bit more than we normally get. Um, so that puts four there, two somewhere over here. Ah, oh, we get a four in the grid, in fact. That four, given that pair and that four, Let's fix that. Let's put a four in, in box one as a result of that. Ah, look, naked single. That might help us. Uh, by which I mean four, eight, six, two, three in the row, one, nine in the box, and five in the column. The only other possible digit is a seven. Now, I'm going to put the candidates in there, five and nine. I just feel that might be helpful. Okay, that one is not a seven now. Um, two and seven. Ah, oh, two, yes, two and seven must be in this row. Oh, what am I doing? Two and seven, although seven can't be in that cell, but that's good because this is not a seven either. So in fact, we can place seven and then two in the box. Um, seven, two, nine, one, three, six. That is five or eight. So two, seven, three, one, six, four. That's five or eight as well. Okay, so maybe as far as we can go down there. So now we're getting a five in one of those two. Um, 
two. Oh, two is placed in box six. The combination of those three working on this box absolutely sorted that out. So, okay, that's nice over here because two in box four is spread across columns one and three, just as it is in box one. So the two in column two must now be here. Um, ah, and this is naked now. Yeah, that's a five. That's going to finish off most of this box. Lovely. Eight. That has to be eight, doesn't it? Can't be five or four now. Yeah, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, we're going to going to finish off two boxes together. Okay, so loads at the bottom of the grid done just from spotting that sort of X-wingy pattern of twos up there. Um, four. Now we've got to try and take this up to the top of the grid somehow. Eight is restricted there. Three, seven, six, not getting much to go up. Right. Oh, sevens. Look, they're the same as ones. So that's a pair. It's normally helpful. Um, let's put in the candidates here. Three, five there. Three, five or six there. This, this is, that's three or six. So that's a triple in box four. Three, five, six, bent triple. One, four, seven. This is a two. Uh, we've got an eight, nine pair over here. Let's remove the pencil marks. So that makes a two up here. That's the last cell it can be in. Let's get rid of the pencil mark there. Uh, there must be a five in this column here. Three is restricted to the corners by that, but six Oh, annoyingly could be in any of those cells. Did that? No, that two didn't give me anything across the middle because I already had the twos in those boxes. Oh, that's annoying. It looked like it was being a bit more powerful. Um, what else can we find though? Nine is, oh no, that's not a one seven pair. Look at that seven, it's sorting them out. Don't know why I can't see that. I was having a go at, I'm not having a go, but I was pointing out something Simon sometimes misses in his scanning. Now look at these one nines. Sorry, I was finish off the thought. Um, I certainly did not mean to imply I'm a better scanner than Simon. I was just trying to help him with his. Those one nines are ruling out all of those. So we've got a beautiful one nine offset pair in this box. That's giving us the seven in the top row. That's fixing the seven in the middle box. Good Lord. Um, that's four or nine and that's one four or nine. Now eight, six and four to go in those three. This one can't be a four. Oh. oh, look, this is one or nine as well. Two, eight, five, seven in the row, six, three, four in the column. So we've got a one, nine pair in the top row. So everything else in the top row is three, four or six. I don't know if that is actually helpful. That one's not six. Uh, two, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look at these one nines again. They're always hanging around together. And that is quite interesting. That is ruling out all of those cells. And this one got ruled out by the one nine pair across the top. So the other one nine in this box is right next to the first one. We get a pair there. Yes, we can fill in five and eight in the column. Let's get rid of some pencil marks now because otherwise they're just going to confuse me. Six still has to be there. And eight now has to be in one of those two. But that's not a six eight pair because six could be up there. So now there's another one nine pair. Two, three, seven. Hmm, that one is a bit less useful, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Now, five, two, seven, three, four. 
Oh, that eight. Yeah, that's resolved eight, nine on the other side of the grid. So eight now in the central box must be here. And that's surely fixing five and three. We can take eight out of those. That's a six, four pairs. Eight's there. One and six, yes, we can do those because there's a six in column seven already. Six, seven, three, five, eight, two. That's one or nine. Eight, seven, five, two, six. This is three, four or nine. I suppose everything in that column that's remaining is, that's three or four. Ah, eight, that eight has decided eight over here now. Uh, so this is part of the three, four, six triple up here. Same here, three or six. Um, ah, this f that three, five, that's resolved now. That's done the whole box. And we can take it down to the bottom, not forgetting to scan down at the bottom. Five, six, three or four there. Yeah, that six is sorted out. Four, six. Feels like we're on the home straight now, but I don't want to um, count any chickens before they hatch. Yes, nine and three is resolved. Nine there. One and four. One and nine. And I think we're done. And I don't think that took 12 and a half minutes, Lloyd. Nice puzzle though. I mean, there was some interesting stuff there, some nice pairs and triples to find. Um, yeah, quite intriguing. Let's just check, it's okay. And I uh, hope you found that useful. Certainly, as I said, I think classic skills will, like everything else, be helpful in the Sudoku hunt when we release it tomorrow. Looking forward to that. So thanks very much for watching as usual at the end of another week on Cracking the Cryptic, but we will be back with you tomorrow and uh, hope to see you then. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.